Thank you, Andy. So, welcome everybody to the final of this year's Mark Bates Limited National Championships Women's Doubles. So we welcome back today uh, three of the four players that you can see. So at this end, Tintin has already played, Emily's already played, and Jasmine Serving has already played. Mara's been in the uh, on finals day here before. She's been to the semi-finals of the women's singles previously. Mari, Mari's playing with the green, uh, the bat that's black and green on the backhand, giving the signals at the moment. Um, but she was put out in the quarterfinals by Jasmine, and then Jasmine went and beat Emily Bolton. So I'm delighted to have with me in the commentary box Richie Venas, who's current England. That tells us England board member and former national veterans champion. Hi, Richie. Yeah, hello, Connie. How's, it's, it's, uh, how's it all going? You pleased from a Table Tennis England board point of view with how the championships is going? Yeah, it's it's been a wonderful championships. I think uh, you know we've we've got uh, the streaming service as we as we know going on at the moment, and th I think the hall looks absolutely magnificent. I think uh, Nottingham's a wonderful venue. Really looking forward to this uh, uh, ladies doubles final. Great. So you see Mari serving there. Big top spin from Emily. Drags the ball off the end of the table from the opponent. Yeah, so if you weren't here earlier on today, uh, Jasmine beat Emily in the first of the women's uh, single semifinals. And then Tintin, very, very close match, beat Tiana Yu. Um, that went all the way. Real nail biter. Emily will be looking for revenge against Jasmine in this one. Yeah, good start from the number one seed. It's taken a little bit of an early lead here. Three, five. So, uh, yeah, five, three to the number one seeds, Tintin Ho and Emily Bolton, over the number two seeds, Murray Baldwin and Jasmine Wong. In fact, when I look at uh, where Jasmine Four, and... Uh, and Murray come from, they couldn't come from further apart. You know, one coming from Hull and the other one living in, in Devon. Mm -hmm. But they're, they're a young couple. Uh, well, not when I say a couple, mm -hmm. I mean a, a, a pair of table tennis players, uh, 19 and 20. So Five interesting four. to see how they progress in their table tennis careers. Yeah, both improving. Emily's still been improving, playing in France as well. Tintin holding her own well, five times national champion, back in the final of the women's Five, singles. Six later on this afternoon against Jasmine, so a good cadre of players. Seven, five. So it's been a bit of a turn around this game. Jasmine and Mari have now 7-5 <laughs> up at the second tail down. Eight. That's Tintin flicks one off the end there. So just to mention a couple of the other Five the other ladies, nine. lady players that have been in this uh, women's doubles. Tiana, who we saw earlier this morning, did so well against Tintin. She played with uh, Scarlett Anders, uh, and they went out in the semi-final of this to uh, Emily and Tintin. And Jasmine and Mari Five beat ten. Ella Pashley, who's been doing so well. She got to the final of the under-21s, beaten by Tiana, who's now under-21s champion. And Ella was playing with Mabel Shute and uh, Jasmine and Mari. Ten. Uh, defeated those. Also in the quarterfinals, we saw Anaya and Millie, Erin and Anna Green, Scarlett Anders playing with Tiana, and we also saw uh, Mia Sultan and Letitia McMullen. And uh, Letitia also getting through and uh, getting a game in the singles quarterfinal as well against uh, Emma. So interesting. Some game. Doubles is a funny game sometimes, just the change of order can make a, a, a whole big difference to a, a game of doubles. So they now be serving to the, a different opponent. Last one. Yeah. The other quarterfinals in the doubles were uh, Saskia, Saskia Key and Sienna Jetha. They got a game off Jasmine and Mari. One all. Yeah, good winner there from Tintin Ho. England number one, former top 100 player in the world. Two. 
two, one. Jasmine serving to Tintin, as she will be later in the singles final. And now Tintin serving to Mari Bilbin. Very, very good loop there from Emily Bolton. Got a spinny loop in. Got yeah, Jasmine tried to re-loop it and he just come off the edge of a bat and off the end. Tintin still serving. Hey, Jasmine, just give a little sign under the table there. I think it's might be float. It's normally a float sign. Yeah, nice shot there from Tintin Ho. Good looping. What do we call the crossover point? Where people are not sure whether to play a backhand or a forehand. Marie, Marie Ball been trying to play a forehand and, and put it off the side. Okay, number one seeds of trying to fight back. 5-3 up here in the second game after losing the first. Five, four. So you're a pretty good doubles player, Richie. What do you, what do you like about the doubles? <laughs> I just think that sometimes you just get uh, some of the best rallies of a day at a tournament are in the doubles. Uh -huh. uh, you know, sometimes I've, I've seen these rallies when like four players are, are looping to each other away from the table. Yeah. And I think it, it's quite spectacular. Personally, I, I always feel that uh, the best doubles pairings are quite often left and right handed. Yeah. Uh, they they kind of combine together. I see we here we've got uh, got four right handers. Mm -hmm. Um. And saying that we used to play doubles for a little bit, didn't we? You're, you're left handed, I'm right handed. We did. Yeah. We were quite successful, didn't we? Yeah, we, we a few were games. okay. Yeah. Yeah. I can still sell myself out as a left hander in doubles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was. Now, I thought they're talking about whether um, that serve was in the wrong side, and uh, I thought it was. Do you know what? When I was watching it, my, my first thought, that's the wrong side. <laughs> but uh, I always find that if I'm the person that's um, actually going to uh, receive serve, then I, I tend to know exactly where it's bounced. Yeah. Okay, so Tintin and uh, Emily, 8-4 up. Tintin to serve. Just deciding what serve to do, because the little hand signal under the table. And Murray come in with a very awkward pimpled return there, uh, and Emily's put it off the end. So, 6-8, Mari to serve. Oh, Mari, six, nine. top edges one off the end there. Gives Tintin and Jasmine 9-6 here in the second game. They, they really need to get this back to one. Also, as as Conan said, it's best of five. Nine, they, seven. they really would like to take this game and get it back to one all. error from Tintin. Back to 9-8. Business end of the set. Oh, good hitting from Tintin. 10-8. Ten. Ten gives them two game points. Thanks, Richie. So, kind of hauling it back a little bit. Interesting that Mari is uh, is dictating what spin she wants Jasmine to put on her serve, and that worked. Nine ten. So nine ten, pulling back towards 
juice. That's a great shot from Emily, counter top spin. And that really won them, the, won them the game there. If we see that one again, look at how low the ball was when Emily had to pick the ball off the net with a top spin. Beautiful stuff. So again, Mari's given the signal of Jasmine what's, what serve that she wants. And I think as we said that uh, this, this change in each order from like game one, so game one will be the same as game three. Well, in game one, Mari Baldwin and Jasmine Wong won it with this combination. Uh -huh. One all. So here we are at one all. Emily that served to Mari. Murray got a lot of lot of chop on her on her pimples with that shot, and Tintin tried to lift it but couldn't quite get it over the net. Yeah, I find it absolutely amazing how how even when I played doubles, how you know one way round in game one is so different to the other way round in game two, depending on who is serving to who. Yeah, I prefer to try and predict what the tough order is and do that first. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, that's exactly what I do when I've played doubles. Do get try, and, try and get the bad order first. Bad order first, because if it ends up going to five, yeah. you've got the best order uh, when it comes really critical at the end. Four. Some people think it doesn't matter, but it, but in an extreme case, you go to the you go to the final game, go five love down, but win, win 11-5. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I think that's actually uh, kind of more important in mixed doubles. You know, you might have the, the, some of the guys who, you know, hits... 100 miles an hour forehands, you know, the, the, the order can be really critical of, of who is hitting to who at that stage. Three, four. Okay, slight lead here for Mari and, and Jasmine. 4 3. Tintin serving to Jasmine. I just notice how Tintin serves with the black side, the reverse side, and then then twiddles her bat. So she's generally generally playing shots with her with her pimples on the forehand. Okay, four all now. Again, it's just Jasmine. That's uh, it's uh, Mari telling uh, Jasmine uh, what serve she wants. I think that's been normally it used to always be the server saying saying this is the serve I'm doing, but quite often now you actually see it's the person playing the third ball who's deciding what serve they want to make it easier for their return. Yeah. What I used to do playing doubles with uh, Graham Sandley is that we'd choose as the server who was going to, you know, what, what spin we were going to do it. But every now and again, Graham would come across and he'd whisper behind his back, <laughs> put his back up in front of our faces, <laughs> and he'd say, no, don't do that one, do this one. <laughs> and so, uh, so we'd, we'd change the serve to his preference. So it's always kind of happened a little bit, but it's much more explicit now. And there's a good logic to it, isn't yeah. it, that the that the, uh, the partner of the server is the one that decides because they're dealing with what's coming back, right? Yeah, yeah I, think it's the, I think that's the right thing to do, Con. I think you're absolutely right there. It, in some ways, it should be the, the person playing the third ball should be deciding what, what's, what spin you want when you serve. Seven, five. There's such variation on serving table tennis, you know, chop, float, top spin. Except one time he said, well, put this spin on it. I can't remember what he said now. He said, but do this. And I just went, I can't do that, Graham. <laughs> <laughs> so we had this big discussion about whether I could do this serve or not. <laughs> but hey, got a European Youth Bronze medal out of it. Yeah, and that's pretty impressive. <laughs> Seven, six. Okay, got a, got a really close match going on here. One game all. Seven six. This is what we like to see. Like to see nice close matches in the in the, in the finals of the nationals. Interesting to see uh, Marie serve with the uh, with a reverse on the back end and then twiddled it to put the, the green pimples back on onto her back end. And we're about to see Tintin do exactly the same thing. Serve and twiddle back to, back to the way she wants her bat. Yeah, 
a really good loop there. Tintin's uh, chop serve just drifted off the end. Jasmine got him with a really spinny loop to the crossover and uh, got the got the mistake out of from Emily. One back for the number one seeds, but one all in 10 7. Mm. Well, can they make the, the next two from the serve? Towel down. Every six points they can towel down. That was a nice counter from Tintin. So we have Emily Bolton serving to kind of save this game. Can the youngsters go 2 1 up? Off the net, Mara's in. Oh, great, great counter from Tintin. She read the block to the backhand, played it well. Great positioning from Tintin Ho. 9-10. That could be a turning point, but let's see. Mari playing with the pimples again, and it's off. So that's a great fight back from Emily and Tintin. Okay, here are one game all, ten all. Nice flick there from Jasmine to, to win the point. Very brave from Jasmine, 20 year old from Hull, graduate of Ackworth School. She's <laughs> really frustrated. Emily just under loop that one hit the top of the net and over and she's gonna again she's done it i think she said something like every time or <laughs> i'm sure it's not every time but it feels that way sometimes you see mari there working to get in position beautiful and it, it would be a magnificent win if they could get through it but here we are game four is uh the same order as game two which was won by the number one seed so if that happens again we're going to be going to a fifth and deciding game Jasmine ridding herself to receive serve. Oh, lovely, lovely Not stroke from, from Tintin. Counter hit off the table. Really good shot wide of Marie's forehand. Good serve there. Tinting goes for an aggressive flick return, but just, just clips the top and then it goes off. Well, three one up to the younger pair here. Can they pull away and take this title? Three one. Oh, it's a fantastic rally and a lovely, lovely loop off the bounce there from Emily Bolton for a winner. A fantastic shot, well played. Three all. Yeah, just having a really good spell here, Emily. She's just, just hit a forehand winner and a, and a backhand winner to bring it back to three all. As the four players uh, towel down for the first time in this, this game. As we know, it's every every six points. You're allowed to towel down. And it's, it's Murray to serve. Jasmine's just giving her the signal what she wants. Three, four. Yeah, I think Emily's, uh, Emily Bolton just seemed to be going through a, a bit of a purple patch here. That's yes. three winners off the last three points. Yeah, she's recovered well, hasn't she, mentally and, and technically. Yeah, so here we go. 5-3 to, to Tintin and Emily. As Emily prepares herself to serve. Six, three. So my theory of the order seems to be playing true. That's, uh, <laughs> the, 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 young, the young couple win the games one and three. And perhaps the, the more experienced older pair would, might win games two and four. 
maybe I've spoken too early as uh, as it gets pulled back to 6-4. Yeah, this is the prediction booth of death. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that probably means that, uh, yeah, that Mari and Jasmine will probably win this, this game and, and prove me completely wrong. And lucky from Tintin there, went for a big backhand, went away from the table and just, just put it just off the end. Didn't miss by a lot. Oh, that was a, a really nasty pimple shot from, from Marie. They came back. I think it just clipped the top of the net, but I think it was going to go back really short anyway with a lot of chop in it. That would have been really difficult <laughs> to get back even without the net, I think. Okay, 6-5. Tintin with one serve left. Sorry, that was 6-all with Tintin serves now. Felt that was a chance for Jasmine that. Didn't quite get around in time. Yeah, she didn't get, get quite get the lift on it, did she? Didn't just need a little, little bit more lift on that uh, four-round loop there. Oh, lucky point. Seven, just caught the net and uh, put Tintin off her forehand. So Murray and Jasmine come back. Just a point now. Down now. Seven, eight. Nine seven. Okay, here we go. Nine seven. My favourite time of the game when it gets near the end, when every point is absolutely critical. Oh, did that just clip the, the edge? I think it did. From Mari, her back end just. She apologises for a fortune. It's 9-8 uh, it's as Emily collects the ball from the umpire to serve. Okay. 10-8 ten, ten up to the number one seeds. Two game points to get it to a fifth set. Yeah, but Jasmine serving, big discussion there. There's a sandy sized discussion about what who's going to serve, or what not, rather what they're going to do with it. And there is the fourth game. So another recovery game indeed, as you predicted, Richie. But uh, yes, so game five, be change ends when the first team get the five points, and it will change the order. So that, you know, there could be a big, difference between the first half and the second half saying that the games have been close but uh, in, in this order games one and three Jasmine and Mari won it this way round so we'll, we'll see if they can be ahead when they change uh, change ends at five points that's a beautiful backhand from Emily she was stretched wide of the backhand but managed to play a nice long stroke drag the back on the ball back into the centre of the court. Lovely shot. That's a kind of a match-winning shot under pressure. It's one of those things you look back on that you think was a turning point. Oh. Jasmine's so quick on the counter, though. Just rising to each other's challenges so well, aren't they? Yeah, they are. It's, it's interesting. I was just thinking if I was Emily and serving to Marie, mm. I, I would serve long to her because she's probably going to play a, a backhand. A backhand, yeah. And I think backhand... If you plays it closer to net, is is more more effective yes. than it is if you plays it away so from the table. Force her to play it a little bit longer. So certainly, if I was serving to Marie, I'd be serving long to her. Yep. Let one free. See, Marie, oh, I thought yeah, she served last one the pimples, and this one she's twiddled and, and serving it with a reverse side. One four. Okay. Yeah, it's just a forehand uh, loop miss there from uh, from Mari Baldwin, and uh, we're now at the first timeout of the match. 
And there we see the umpire, Kim Munch Johnson. Put the, uh, the time out machine on the table. Just see it in the back uh, on the screen there, 37 seconds. It's, uh, it's a team that, that called the timeout to decide when they go back. They can have the first minute, or if they want to only have 10 seconds, both teams have to come back after 10 seconds because it's, it's their timeout. Yeah, that's an interesting. Has it always been that way? Is that quite new? That is, it's always been that way. I, yeah, I can no remember one, one of the first. Yeah. I think the first time my opponent called a timeout against me, he only wanted 10 seconds, and I was at the far end of the table. And by the time I got to the corner, right? I was called back to the table. <laughs> you were slow to your time out, Richie. Yeah, yeah, and I was I was desperate for some for, for me bottle and some water. I think I, I think one point later I called a timeout myself because I was <laughs> yeah, I was I was dreaming yeah, of I'm water. I'm not finished. Yeah. <laughs> one four. Ooh, direct from the serve for Mari. in the corner with the wide angle lens Mike loved her take some fantastic table tennis pictures okay full two tint into surf can I win this point and change ends here and there you go that would be the, the change of ends in the fifth game mm. which would also elicit a change of order which the second order has actually normally been better for Tintin and yeah so and, and Emily, so you would have thought in theory they should pull away and, and win, but uh, that, that's that's where we play table tennis on paper. This is actually a, not being played on paper, is it? Yeah. So in theory, you'd you'd think that uh, Mari and Jasmine would have needed a good start, and it might get away from them now. Let's see how the order changes things this time. Good rally, bit of backspin going on. There, Mari, beautiful. Oh, great forehand loop. Great forehand loop from Jasmine there. Perfect run round it. Hit, went round the back and hit a forehand and hit a lovely winner. Timeout. Uh, second timeout, so now Tintin and Emily have called their timeout. Mm. Critical fifth game. There's, you know, if you don't call it now, it's, there's, there's no future games to play. This is it. So. 6-4. Yeah, it's only been a few points and a change of end since the last time out. Craig looks pretty definite what he's saying to Jasmine there. It's actually a critical time for a coach here. You know, if they, if they can win or lose it for their, for their pairs, depending on what they're saying, if they get their tactics right. And it's also the mental side of it, isn't it? To get them you know, th thinking positively that you can win this. Come on, this is the time. Mm -hmm. and what, I, what I always find is that tactics are temporary. You know, because yep. as soon as the other person has worked out what you've changed, yeah, you're predictable, and therefore they're going to read it, and therefore you've got to change again. So they're always evolving tactics to the yeah. game, aren't they? Even if you've got your coaches, so they might give you. But all we not might need here is a point or two. Yeah. Then it evolves again, but that's okay if you've got a couple of extra points Six under your belt. It's all part of the game. Yeah, absolutely. Tactics should be evolving. What, what works at the beginning may not work at the end. Indeed. So it's looking like it's going right down to the wire, which is uh, what I like to see. I like to see close finals at the Nationals. It certainly is. Well, that's popped up. And yeah, I was going to say Tintin's going to put that one away, and she did. Yeah. Yeah, there's. Yeah, just let it drifted just too high over the net mm. and quite an easy put away for Tintin and she didn't miss. Right, there'll be no more timeouts. They both had only allowed one timeout and they both had it. Four. Yeah, okay. Six, so it's going against the run of the order now with Jasmine and Mari kind of coming back. Back end of this fifth and final game. Who's going to beat women's doubles champions 2024? So, 
Tintin to yeah. surf. Yeah, a little discussion there, aren't they? Yeah. So Tintin choosing to tell Emily what she's going to do. That's, a, that's not a bad little backhand roll. Little gentle top spin there. It's well placed. Very calm from Emily. Yeah, she plays. She's got lovely technique, actually, Emily, and on backhand and forehand. So but I've been very impressed with her play yeah. this weekend. Okay, a little bit of conversation. Jasmine knows what she wants Mari to do. And that's it. Game and the match. <laughs> Emily's delighted. Won't let go of Tintin. 11-6, three games to two. Very, very tight. I think it was 7-5 near the end. But good sportsmanship from all of the players. Over to Andy. 10, 12, 11, 8, and 11, 6. Let's give it up for uh, our uh, players. Tintin Ho and Emily Bolton are uh, champions. And uh, Jasmine Wong and Mari Baldwin. Well, con congratulations, Tintin, Emily. I'll come to you first, Tintin. 2 1 down. Did you do anything to change it and uh, turn the tide in your favour? Um, so we won the first, the second set, the same round. So we decided not to change in anything and just keep going. So the echo's really throwing me off. <laughs> yeah. Emily, so um, disappointment in the singles earlier for you. Was that a motivating factor to turn it around and win this one? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, after the singles, I reflected on it and I was like, okay, I've just got to let that go now. We've got another match to go together and obviously a title is obviously something I want. So. I put it behind me and came back now. How much does this one mean to you? Yeah, it's obviously nice. Um, we won it last year as well. So it's nice to retain the title. And yeah, obviously every national title is special. What is it about the partnership that works so well, Tins? Um, I think we know each other really well. We've played since we're like 12 or something. So yeah, and we're really good friends. So it helps a lot on the table. And how about a double then in the women's singles as well? Uh, yeah, hopefully, but I'll just try my best. <laughs> well, we wish you all the best for that. Our national champions are Tintin Ho and Emily Bolton.